Welcome to OpenE and the how-to videos. In this session we'll be covering DSS with Backup Exec for versions 11 and 12.5. One of the first things we need to start with is to download the free DSS trial version from links below. Second, we need to download the Backup Exec Rallis agent. Please read the release notes associated with these links. Okay, let's begin. Using the Rallis agent with DSS Performing the steps, we will use the data storage server, build 3513, 64-bit mode. To begin, we're going to go to Configuration, NAS Settings, and make sure that we've entered the ADS appropriate realm name, IP address, and the administrator, and plus the password. This way we'll make sure that all the users and groups are imported into the DSS. Once the authentication is completed, we'll add the administrator and the super users. Now we'll go to NAS resources to verify that the users and groups have been imported. Now you can see that the users and groups have been imported from the ADS server. Now let's go to our ADS server. And here we're using Windows 2003. We're going to add a new user. I'm going to call him Rallis. And the password that we have in the release notes is 123 capital Q, capital W, capital E, lowercase a, lowercase s, and d. I will provide administrative rights for the backup. And uh, put administrative rights. Now let's go ahead and bring up our backup exec software. And here we will go to network, log on accounts, and add the rallies. We still have the password in pasted mode. We'll take this as a restricted account. We'll disable that. Now we've added the Rallis account name. Now let's verify that the ADS server has replicated the name and imported into the DSS users and groups. Click on NAS resources. And there we see that the Rallis user has been added. We'll add the share or we'll give them rights to it. And now let's go back to the ADS and backup exec server. Let's go to backup function. And we'll create a backup job with custom settings. Now here, in the backup selections, we want to go to the domain section, then Microsoft Windows Network. Here we see destination. We select Rallis. 
and now it expands for the DSS destination server. We want to be able to scroll all the way down to the directory of shares. From shares, we see our share that we've created called data. In data, we have a file that we will back up to. Create next. We want to test all. Test results are successful with server credentials. Click next and next and we'll select the defaults to be overwritten. And we'll run the job now. And we should notice that the job status has completed successfully. So let's take a look at the job monitor. And here we've seen that the RALIS that we've created with the login account, the time is appropriate for our time that we did our backup. The job was successful. Now if we wanted to restore the files from the shared data, we would go to the restore button, select the server that we use for a backup, and here we have today's date with the time, and there's the shares of data with the file that we backed up. And that is the process for using the RALIS agent with DSS. OpenE provides many how-to videos, but if you want more of OpenE's data storage server DSS advanced features, come visit us at www.open-e.com library. Thank you, and we'll see you soon.